today we are talking about a huge man-made circle of standing stones called Stonehenge. I'm excited because I love stuff like this. Plus, hang with us till the end because this famous monument was also a big part of a major motion picture cartoon franchise. Are you ready to roll, big sis? I'm ready, little bro. Now, if you have never heard of Stonehenge, we have you covered. Stonehenge is known as one of the most famous circles and biggest tourist attractions found on England's Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire. Now, taking a moment to answer the question about what is Stonehenge, Stonehenge is a huge circle made of stone that was built around 5,000 years ago during the late Neolithic age. There have always been questions surrounding how it was made because they didn't have the tools that are available in modern times to create a structure this large. With rocks that big, I don't know how they did it. It is said that Stonehenge took over a thousand years to build in four stages, and archaeologists believe Stonehenge was completed somewhere around 1500 BCE in the Bronze Age. Going back to what Frankie said and how Stonehenge was built is something that has been a topic of discussion for centuries. With the stones being so large, how they were transported and placed in position is unknown. For example, some of the lightest stones are as heavy as two cars. And some of the larger stones weigh as much as four African elephants. This has caused a lot of theories over time, from using floating rafts to bring stones up waterways and more. But like I said, nobody really knows for sure how Stonehenge was built. That is crazy. But we have to ask the question, why was Stonehenge built? That is something that is up for debate, too. Some have said throughout history it has been used as a place to bring sick people to be healed. Others have even guessed that Stonehenge was used as a form of Stone Age computer, looking for solar or lunar eclipses or a temple to the sun or moon gods. One thing is for sure, Stonehenge was used as a cemetery where there is an estimated 200 people who are buried on the Stonehenge grounds. Now, that is a little creepy, big sis. I know, I know, Frankie. But one of the well-known reasons people travel to Stonehenge with roughly a million people per year going there is during the solstice. Known as either the longest day and shortest night, or the shortest night and longest day, it is all about observing the sun through Stonehenge. At Stonehenge on the summer solstice, the sun rises behind the heel stone in the northeast part of the horizon and its first rays shine into the heart of Stonehenge. Observers at Stonehenge at the winter solstice, standing in the enclosure entrance and facing the center of the stones, can watch the sunset in the southwest part of the horizon. Now, if you're into cartoons, I mentioned that Stonehenge was featured in a major motion picture. That movie was Transformers The Last Night. Stonehenge was turned into an intergalactic battlefield as part of the Transformers set. So, as you can see, this huge structure called Stonehenge has been something that has puzzled people that traveled to see it for a mighty long time. I hope you enjoyed hanging with us here on Fresberg Cartoon. And for more educational cartoons like this, check out the video coming up on your screen.